Hey guys, welcome back to Hypertura. I've got my Doki Doki Boxy here for August. It's arrived a few days earlier than it normally does, uh, which is really nice. And uh, I've printed what I believe is the PDF for this uh, box. It was actually online this time. Uh, last month when it, I got the box, the PDF wasn't online really. Um, so I printed it this month, but I tried to avoid looking at it as well, because I want this to remain a mystery until I open it. Um, so I've got that there ready. Um, so let's open this up and see what's inside. The box is a little bit squished in on this side. Um, so that seems to happen with this box uh, just because it's a lot of savoury snacks and a lot of bags of crisps and things like that um, rather than lots of sweets like we get with Tokyo Treat the boxes uh, tend to cave in a little bit easier uh, than they do with the hard snacks so let's open this up and see what we have it's full to the brim it's not massively heavy um, as a box because a lot of it tends to be the savoury snacks um, but it's normally a wistful, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's really nice. Um, very colourful as well. I love how they've uh, sort of presented that in there. Um, but yeah, so I've got this sheet here. I'm hoping it's right. Um, most of this stuff here comes in the chibi box, which is the small one. Um, and then a few extras come from the uh, Decker box, which is the uh, larger premium box. So I'm going to start off with looking at this. This looks to me like sour plum. Um, if I can see it on this sheet, it would hopefully mean that I've got the right one. Um, says this is August's sheet. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. I think I have the sheet for last month, which says August. Um, so they may have the uh, box modelled up because uh, this was ordered in August. So this, I think, is August, unless it's September's box. Um, but looking at this now, actually, that looks like last month's uh, PDF. So I think I'm back in the uh, guessing game here. Um, I, I believe this is August's box uh, because uh, you order in August for September. Um, though it may be September's box, so I cannot quite remember uh, which one, but the whatever's in the uh, description or entitled below is the right one. So we've got some uh, sour plum uh, snacks here. Uh, they taste like chewy gummies, so they might actually be actual dried uh, plums. Um, but some of them, the happy and the sad face makes me look think that some of them are good and some of them are sour and I've had experiences with sour plum before it's not something that I'm too keen on it's very odd and very sour it's very weird for me uh, we got some rice sort of uh, cracker discs here uh, with some sauce uh, this it's hard to tell what this is from the packaging because uh, sometimes you find it's jam uh, in there or you can find Hokkaido red bean paste all sorts of different things uh, to go on top of those crackers uh, up next we got some uh, Calbee uh, potato chips. Um, I, these are, I'm not entirely sure what flavour these are. Uh, it's hard to tell. This is why I wish I had the right um, box. I mean, this does look different to last month. So I, I, I'm hoping, it, I thought it is, is the right box. Maybe I'm not reading it properly. Because the closest thing that this looks like is the garlic potato chips. Um, in here, so that could be the garlic potato chips. Um, it's always interesting. Uh, I, these are the kind of crisps I had when I went to Japan, or uh, potato chips, depending how you call them. So they're really nice. Um, I see my anime item there. So we've got our uh, little keychain slash phone lanyard. Uh, the last few months we've had nice little figurines, so it seems we're back to these. Um, I don't know whether to switch off of these. I mean, I love anime items. Uh, the nice thing about this one, it seems to have a uh, jack to put into your headphone port because a lot of phones nowadays don't have the uh, hole in them to put straps onto anymore. Uh, but I can only have so many straps on my phone at once and I've got so many of these straps now. So they're more collector's thing for me now than they are useful. Uh, we've got a uh, diamond ring candy. I think that we had one of these in last month's box. So I'm not entirely sure uh, that this is a new item. Um, I've seen several of these before. Uh, the I swear we used to get things like this in the UK. That's cola flavoured. They're, they're nice, uh, like lollipops, really. Um, so up next we've got, I think we had this either in last month's box or something similar to it. Um, it's kind of like a battered uh, snack. It, 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 I found it quite nice last month, actually. I, I wasn't too sure of it. Because um, it's, it's almost bre or it's battered or breaded a bit like uh, crab sticks sometimes. 
So there, it was quite an intriguing sack, to say the least. Uh, we've got some uh, Bourbon uh, bomb rolls. So these, uh, they're quite soft, so they, they look like kind of small uh, cake, or small cake Swiss rolls. Uh, so stacks, I can try them out in a bit later. Rather intriguing. Uh, we got some more potato chips. These look like just normal uh, sea salt or just salted. Um, I, I can't see any of this, so I, I think this sheet is definitely uh, last month's. Uh, what was on there? So that's interesting. I love really salted and salted crisps. So it's just a nice snack item. They're not too different from what you find in other countries. Um, so it's, yeah, you get a variety of things. Uh, we got some Lottie uh, biscuits, uh, absolutely love these, uh, self-explanatory normally, uh, they're uh, just lovely things, normally they have chocolate on the inside, I don't know what flavour this is meant to be, um, whether it's meant to be some sort of tea or hot chocolate, uh, based on the uh, picture, it's something I'm going to have to try to find out. Uh, we've got ourselves a little uh, Omaibo, uh, these are just like giant watsits to me, they're kind of puff corn snacks. Uh, very cheap things that kids get in the in their store with their pocket money. What do we have here? So these, this looks like hard candy, um, individually packed on the other side, uh, with some sort of pan, panda theme or bear theme on it. Um, I, I had hard candy like this at home that I bought back from Japan. So. I think they're just normal uh, round, hard, suckable candies. So nothing too new there. Um, but I think it's the first time we've had that in one of these boxes. <laughs> um, up next we've got a uh, <laughs> we've got a sweet I think a sweet potato um, little uh, snack bar. Um, that they're always intriguing to have, uh, just because of the texture of it. Really, um, sweet potatoes is a very odd thing. And then we got some little uh, mini chocolate balls in a kind of umbrella cane style uh, stick there. They're always nice and interesting, little sweet snacks um, and all the stuff. And I do wish they'd put a few more sweet snacks in here or if they'd give an option for uh, having a drink, it would be pretty cool. Uh, so we got some uh, hazelnut or chestnut um, biscuits uh, with what looks to be possibly a cream center in this. Uh, I, I wish the PDF was up to date because I printed out the most recent one and it seems to be the box that I had last month. Um, so <laughs> that's a shame. Uh, we've got popcorn. Oh, I've never had popcorn. I, I, I've had popcorn in American boxes uh, in micro form ready to be popped. Um, I don't tend to buy my popcorn like this because it's usually very expensive. The popcorn is a lot cheaper to buy a pack that you can pop yourself. So, I'm not entirely sure what flavour these are. They've got kind of green flecks over them uh, by the looks. So I'll have to wait until I open that up in a minute to see what flavour flavouring that has. Um, here we have some yoghurt cranberries. Uh, we have stuff like this in the UK. Uh, they're, they're usually very nice actually, so that's a pretty nice item to get. Uh, what do we have here? We have... Another little snack, it almost looks pl plastic. Um, it looks like it might be some sort of beef snack in there, because uh, it's got kind of Kobe beef or something uh, in the picture. So I'm not entirely sure what to make of that. <laughs> so we got a Calipico um, snack. This is why I wasn't sure if this was uh, part of it, because I swear I saw some uh, snacks like this similar into the last month's PDF but it definitely isn't. So these are nice little uh, chocolate snacks and they've got kind of, they're a bit like arrows by the looks because they have little uh, air bubbles on the inside. So they're uh, absolutely amazing. Then we have some hot fiery uh, p chili potato chips. Um, oh, I love spicy things so they're pretty cool for me. Um, just nice things to snack on occasionally when you're hungry. And like I said a lot of the stuff that comes in this box is savoury items. So we don't tend to get too many sweet items in here. We don't get a drink with this uh, box. Um, but yeah, and then finally we have our DIY kit. Um, which looks like, 
I'm not entirely sure if I can make this. It looks like I need a microwave because of the, uh, I think it's taco, taco or teriyaki uh, fish. Um, so I can show you the inside of the box, but I don't think I can make this without a either a microwave or an oven uh, because it, oh, the picture on the back here shows some sort of uh, cooking process, uh, which wouldn't surprise me because these things are usually um, cooked uh, in sort of a press like a waffle iron. In Japan, I've had these uh, fresh um, at a festival, so they're made there in front of you. Um, I may be able to make the other things in here, actually, um, other than the uh, fish, uh, which are separate. So, but that's everything in the box anyway. So I'll open this up and have a look inside. The nice thing is that's nice and uh, sealed and fresh on the inside. Here we go. So we got sachets of sachets in here, a little toothpick, it's almost like a little sauce dipper there as well which is pretty cool. So it looks like we've got different typical uh, snacks here for different uh, festivals. So this looks like a mug for a slushy. Uh, it's hard to work out what needs what, so the fish or the uh, teriyaki Definitely needs cooking. I think that's a microwave based on the wattage. But I should be able to make some of the other things in here. So I should, yeah, I should be able to try and make some of the things in here. Um, I'm not entirely sure. There's the thing, uh, it's the one thing I don't like about Doki Doki Boxy is they don't put instructions on their sheet for the uh, DIY candy which Tokyo Treat used to do. Um, they used to not put instructions, but they, now they do since they make their booklet. So it's very difficult to work out how to actually make uh, these things. Uh, but I think I can try and make these little, uh, I think they're meant to be uh, takoyaki balls uh, from the different sachets. And we got various different sachets here, that almost in two different packs. And there's, what, six different sachets, which makes this very confusing on how to make here. And there's different orderings in here on how to make these, so I think they all come out at various different sizes and times. But I will try and give this a go if I can. Obviously, if you're going to do this yourself, you're better off using a pair of scissors. Don't use a knife like me, because that's how you cut your fingers. So don't try this at home in that sense. So I'm going to leave the fish because I can't do them, or the uh, teriyaki. But I should be able to make some of the other things here. So water is what I need to mix with this sachet here. And that will form the red center for this snack here. I also want to avoid making the red bean paste. Uh, because that's to go in the uh, teriyaki. So I think the teriyaki is made from this and this. So I want to put them to the side. Um, the difference is I think the red bean paste can be used as part of this snack as well. Um, but if I'm going to make the uh, other snack myself at home, when I, which I want to do when I have a microwave, I don't want to use it. Um, use it for this uh, because I'll uh, have to make a batch and then I, I'll go off by the time I can use it. So we have all sorts of sauce balls so the first thing I want to do is get the sachet that says number three on it. Do they? Are they numbered? No it's not numbered. Uh, I think it's this sachet here just from the colour. And then this gets mixed in using this and this little thing here. So I've got my cup of water here for use. For this, I'm going to take that and pour it into this little hole. And then I'm going to try and pour this powder in. I think this turns into a, like a jelly, which won't be too bad. There's little strawberry uh, around the outside of the uh, thing here, so that's obviously going to be a nice strawberry. And that's almost solidifying into jelly straight away, which is pretty cool. 
So that's our little strawberry. I think we leave that in there to set for a little bit. I can smell that. It smells really nice as well. And then up next, we want to use our pink sachet to make our little um, balls, which are going to make our uh, takoyaki here, as well as, I think, the uh, covering for this strawberry uh, sachet. So this powder, it doesn't say how much. Uh, I think I need to pour water in up to the line that's in this little uh, tray. So I'm going to try and do that very carefully. Compared to how I normally do it, I end up with water all over myself. So that looks like it should just about be enough water in there. Coming up to that line. And then I want to mix in this large pink sachet. Doesn't quite have a smell to it. But I'm not expecting too much of a smell to this one. Okay. So these I will use try and use the other end of this toothpick as a mixing mixer. And these should form uh, turn into like a white dough almost, which we can roll into balls. It has a kind of doughy smell to it now. It's pretty cool. I think I need to use this uh, spoon to do this just because of the size of it. And then looking at this, there should be some sort of guide somewhere for rolling these balls to get them the right size. I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, so the back of the packaging here, we've got our various size indicators for how big we want to make things. So I think that's sort of mixed enough now for me to do this. So I need to make three balls and then one flattened area. So I give this a bit of a roll to mix it a little bit better. And then make these little, little tiny balls. this packaging here. Hello. You guys at home can probably do a lot better than I can with this. And then this needs to be stretched out. So I think this, the strawberry obviously goes in here. So I think I need to roll this lengthways and then push it down to flatten it here, which is pretty cool. So that's that. Obviously, I'm skipping the teriyaki because I can't microwave it because uh, you get a kind of nice uh, paste there, but to uh, cook that dough uh, like a waffle, you need to put it in a microwave. I'm going to skip the uh, Hokkaido red bean paste there. So the next thing is sauce, um, which I can mix in this uh, tray here. So normally, you would have uh, microwaved and done the uh, teriyaki before this. So I want to mix this in one of these fish trays. So that acts as a nice tray to dip in the little balls we got here. And then I need to use this. I need two scoops of water into this to make the sauce. And it'll be very interesting to see how close this is to uh, takoyaki sauce, because I find it, I, I, I'm not always very keen on takoyaki myself. Um, just because uh, I find the sauce very rich. Uh, but I love the squid and the octopus. So that, it's not that that worries me normally. But obviously this isn't going to be proper takoyaki. It looks like uh, takoyaki, but it obviously isn't because it doesn't have any octopus things on the inside. And you do get DIY kits which um, make little almost... They're not proper squid, but they uh, make you make little tentacles and stuff which you can put inside. It doesn't taste like squid, uh, but it's hilarious nonetheless. So these, I think, then go on to our little toothpick here. It's really cool. And then they can be rolled in that sauce, which is hilariously amazing. So that's pretty cool. 
loving that. So that reminds me a bit of Japan. And that tastes really nice, actually. I'm loving that. So the strawberry in here, if I can use this toothpick to get it out, it should be sort of set. It goes in. Normally you put the um, Hokkaido red bean paste um, before this, underneath this. Getting this out is not going to come out very nice as well as I hoped. Uh, I hope this would come out a, bit, a little bit nicer than it has, but it hasn't. So that goes on there. Normally you put Hokkaido red bean paste underneath it and then you wrap that up around. So it's pretty cool. It smells really nice as strawberry. And it tastes really nice as well. But the final item I can make is obviously the uh, slushy drink. So I need to fill this with water up into one centimeter. By looking at this, um, there's no sort of measure on this, so I'm not entirely sure roughly where that is. I'm guesstimating roughly a centimeter on that. And then I want to pour in the this tiny little sachet. Oh, that's fizzing as well. That's pretty cool. So. You should be able to hear that, hopefully. It's that fizzed up. So I don't think, I think it's designed to look like a slushy, but it's actually, it smells like Remune, uh, Remune flavored drink. Yeah, because to me, the, the, the packaging on that looks like a slushy drink. But nonetheless, that's just, that's, that smells like a Remune soda. And tastes like it too, that's pretty cool. And almost that, that fizz almost gives it a bit of a uh, carbonated taste to it as well. So that's a really nice DIY candy. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I couldn't do the uh, teriyaki on camera because I don't have a microwave here on, with me. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. I love the DIY candies. Um, they're absolutely amazing. Now, I do want to give a few of these other things a whirl because I obviously can't tell about the PDF what's in these. So I want to see what, what's on this popcorn. So it, you can see the green flecks on this popcorn. It's got a green tinge to it. I can't smell what it is. I don't know if it's rapeseed oil or whatever. I can't, I'm not sure what that picture is from of. I was trying to think wasabi, but it doesn't have that wasabi kick to it. I'm not entirely sure what that is. If you can read and translate that and you know what that is, please do comment down below and let me know. Um, I don't have a clue what that flavoring is. So these are pretty self-explanatory. I do want to see what these little bourbons are like. So I think they look like little cakes. Like Swiss rolls, they're kind of rolled up. They almost feel, feel a bit like chocolate, actually. Definitely a cake on the inside. It's got a lemon taste to it. It's almost like it's got a sugar, lemony icing coating on it. Which gives that a really nice uh, flavor, actually. Um, I know I said I don't like sour plums. I will give these a try because it's been a while since I've done some of these on camera for you guys. So they look like little dried fruits. Now I'm hoping the image is right. But some of them are sour and some of them aren't. I don't know the easy way to tell. Yep, good old sour plum. Hmm. I get the plum from that. So that wasn't as bad as what I remember with some of the sour plums I had before. They're basically like pickled plums. They're very odd. I love plums, but pickled is a bit different and weird for me. So I do want to see what's inside this sachet here. 
it almost looks like plastic. It's very sticky. It smells very fishy as well. Oh, soy saucy. So to me, that, that's so shiny, it looks like plastic. I can't quite make out the smell other than soy sauce. To me, that, while it's got a picture of meat on the front, that tastes almost like squid. Or, or uh, it's got very fishy, uh, dried fish to me, it tastes very different to fresh fish, so I always get that fishy smell, which puts me off of it. You always test, taste that fishy smell compared to fresh fish, which doesn't have that fishiness to it, which is a bit odd. And then we've obviously had something like this in a previous uh, box. I don't know if it was Tokyo Treat, or if it was uh, Doki Doki Boxy. Um, I quite enjoyed this in the last one. It's kind of like breadcrumbs, which is really nice. And then on the center is almost like uh, crab meat or something. I'm not entirely sure what the meat in this is. It looks like beef curry. But that, that tastes really nice actually. It almost reminds me a bit of Scotch eggs and the uh, kind of breaded outer interior that they use on that. But uh, yeah, I will give the chocolate a go because I absolutely love this. I think the chocolate things like this might be some of my favorite items in the box when you exclude the DIY. And this seems like something that Tokyo Treat would include on Valentine's because they're shaped like little hearts, which is pretty cool. And not too easy to pop out by the looks. There we go. It's got one of those out there. So we got a little uh, chocolate bottom there with a kind of strawberry moussey top. And they're absolutely amazing. I love these. I love Japanese chocolate. It absolutely tastes amazing. It's almost better than the UK chocolate, I think. Um, and when you get secure uh, cherry flavored versions of this, it's really nice as well. Um, but yeah, that's everything I'm gonna try open up and try from this box because some of the other things are very self-explanatory. Uh, they're typical Japanese snacks or uh, Asian snacks that you get um, from over the world. Um, I might actually open this up just to see what the flavoring is. To me, 